places like what we know today as the United States and as far as north as um, as far north as Canada. Let's not think that what's happening down in Mexico is isolated situations. What's happening in, in Guerrero is something isolated. Let's not think like that because we're wrong. What we know about in Guerrero is that one of the main drugs that is um, uh, uh, produced there is heroin. And it's the Policia Comunitaria that are targeting these drug producers and traffickers. And at the same time, the corrupt political officials that allow that to happen and for the drug to be trafficked and made to places like the United States. Now, what we know here in the United States right now in 2015 is that the most deadliest drug being consumed right now is no longer crystal meth, crystal meth but it's heroin. It's heroin that's debilitating and killing and crippling our youth, our adults, our family members, and so forth. So by the Policia Comunitaria stopping or helping to stop the drug production of, of heroin and its trafficking and confronting the, the, the political officials, the government officials that are allowing it to be transported, they are helping our youth, our family members, our loved ones, our community from being heroin drug free and all these other drug for, uh, drugs that are being produced in, in, in Guerrero. So, so we must be thankful for them, for what they're doing. And we must speak up against this injustice of them being incarcerated for um, trumped up charges. And uh, on that note, there's more to be said here. But for now, just let's keep in mind that we have indigenous leaders like Nestora Salgado, Gonzalo Molina. If you don't know who they are, these must be names that are that should roll out of your mouth that you've got to know who they are because these are people who are helping to stop the bloody violence in mexico and they are helping to stop our youth here in places like the united states and canada stay heroin free drug free